Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hey, Alfredo, how are you? <laughs> Very Love tired. Seeing you, man. ¿Cómo está la zafra? <laughs> uh, good. Now, good. Why not good, man? A lot of work? No, no, no. Good, good. Ah, Perfect. a lot of good. A lot of work, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, he, uh, he, but, but by the street, I'm, uh, uh, I travel every day to work. There are a lot of uh, cañales, you, you know, like all those things. Mm -hmm. and they were on fire today. Yes, yes. Estaban siendo quemados ahora, así que habían rastras acá de, de todo tamaño. Yeah. Sí, yeah. Pero estas se van para el chaparrastique. Sí, en San Miguel cerca todo es de chapa. Yes, yes. Ajá, parte de San Miguel y uh, ciertas áreas de Usulután, supongo. Uh -huh. Ay, no, yo sí ando cansadísimo ahorita. <risa> Good evening. Good evening. Sí, Good evening. Se nota, Alfredo. Ya, yeah, yo have work. Sí, llevo. Seis días llevo sin... Solo, solo vengo a dormir a las que 11, 12 y me levanto a las 3, 4, dependiendo a qué hora vuelvo a la vida y otra vez. Uy, Hasta man, hoy man. que me dijeron, andate para tu casa, anda a dormir. Así como que, hey, te ves bien zombie, vete para tu casa a dormir. Sí. <risa> ya andate, dormime. Yo me que mañana tengo que entrar y salgo hasta el lunes. Wey. Ay, you got a lot of work then. Mucho trabajo. <risa> Y supongo que iba a pasar por los próximos seis meses. Um, uh, no, no, no. Esta semana es la más difícil porque es el inicio. Entonces, Hay demasiados los procesos. Uh -huh. El problema es que como yo trabajo en automatización, es, uh -huh. veo todo el ingenio. Uh -huh. sí. Entonces, tengo bastante trabajo. Wey, that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. A lot. But anyways, bueno, poco a poco hay reduciendo entonces. I guess, I guess. Yeah, I guess. Uh -huh. And how about the other ones? Hey, Jorge, ¿cómo era eso? Más tarde me conecto, teacher, and you never got connected <laughs> yesterday. Sorry. <laughs> no, I have problem the travel for the La Unión for the San Salvador. Ah, you, you, you came to, to the La Union area? Really? Yes. That's a long trip. Yes, because uh, llegando a casa, ya no me dieron ganas. Oh, man, that was impossible. <laughs> no, le voy a, no le voy a mentir, eran las nueve y nueve y veinte, quizás cuando vine aquí. Y usted dijo, ya que, camita, tre <laughs> no, treinta minutos, más no iba a hacer nada en todo lo que me cambiaba comía algo, era mentira que me iba a conectar. Yeah, I mean, you're right. You're right. Así que, okay. pero aquí estamos. Aquí estamos. Yeah, I mean, that's the good thing. That's the good thing. Hoy es el chile. All right. Hey, hoy, hoy, inicio, hoy inicio vacación. Entonces. Oh, vacation. Good, man. Good, good sí. for you. I'm going to finish. Oh, I'm gonna seven days. Seven days. Ah, you seven days? It's yes. likely similar to me. But are you going to have uh, vacations on, on Christmas? For example, the Christmas week, uh, the New Year's week? No. Really? No? Maybe, maybe uh, first, uh, first day of January, maybe work mm -hmm. in, in La Union again. Ooh. Yeah, and 25, the December. Ah. <laughs> Possible. Ooh, ooh. Really? <laughs> yeah. ah. Sorry, man. Sorry. Possible, but uh, maybe change the 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 schedule, the the operation manager for the uh -huh. uh, translate the the site a new site in the scanner. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, pretty interesting. Yes. Yeah, yeah man. Ahí, ahí vamos. <laughs> yeah, I mean, step by step, poco a poco. Ahí vamos. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's the good thing. That's the good thing. Hey, but how about okay. the rest? Y los demás, why you people got the cameras on, off? 
Turn them on, please. Todavía no están listos, van de camino, ya están, pero están dormidos. Ok, Who, who's sleeping right now? Jennifer? Uh, yeah, hi, Jennifer. Are you sleeping? Porque me relaciona siempre con estar dormida, <risa> Ah, No, yo no sé. Es que Jorge me dijo una vez que le, 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 le recordara por si acaso, ¿verdad? I don't know. Ah, you see, look, 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 look at, look at her face. Okay, yeah. Okay. Uh, like, wake up, this moment, wake yeah, up. Yeah, man, like, like, <laughs> limpiándose la cara, así, toda, toda dark, toda así. No, 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 puede ser, a veces sí, pero no, siempre. <laughs> pero no pero ahora, sí. Dios. <laughs> hey, but pero si no, about... no lo culpo. Yeah, I mean, right, but you're about to finish, right, Jennifer? The work. Uh, On November the 30th? Todavía estamos, eh, ah, sí, sí, estoy trabajando. Yeah, right. Sí, pero ahorita estamos en proceso de hacer prematrículas, llamar al papá, decirle uh, si su hijo uh, continúa, qué pasa, ¿verdad? Hay un seguimiento diferente, ya no es con los hijos, es con los papás. Jesus Christ. Voy a ser papá <ríe> para que me llamen, quizás. <ríe> Ahí va a pasar Jennifer, don Jorge. Don no, Jorge, mire. Es momento que. Su hijo, su hijo no pasa hija. nunca del mismo lugar. Lamentamos no informarle hijo, que favor. no. Lamentamos informarle que su hijo continúa en el mismo grado para el próximo año. Háganos el favor y saque a su hijo, mire. No avanzamos uh, con ese momento. Excelente. Ah, oh my God. Y, y, pero ojalá Jorge no sea la, la, de tapo que, de, de, el, 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 el tipo de papá que lo llega a dejar súper, súper, súper temprano y lo llega a traer súper, súper, súper tarde. Así va a ser. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that happens. For real, that happens. That really happens. Okay, Marlon, you're going home. Very good. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm enjoying the thing that you are talking. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. Okay, man. <laughs> okay. There you go. So uh, I'm going to pass the attendance list, people, and we are going to start with the things that we got for today. Uh, today, we're going to have a very interesting topic. Vamos a tener un tema bastante interesante eh, eh, esta noche. Eh, I, think, I think we have not discussed this topic before. I'm not pretty sure, but uh, as far as I remember, we haven't discussed this topic. Uh, you know, like before in the previous modules, but it's very interesting. It's very interesting. Ah, uh, let's see. Okay. Jesus Christ, I got, I got, give me a second. Uh, by accident, I closed the, <laughs> the attendance list, but I'm gonna put it right now. Just give me a couple of seconds. All right, it's here. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. But let me see. Most of you got it already here. Okay. Nice. Let me check. Ah, okay. Here it is. Hey, is it, is it a Milcar connected? No, right. Menos mal no hay partido ahora. <laughs> okay. Let me see. Let me see. Kind of longer. Okay. Alfredo Alexander. Present. All right. Perfect. A Milcar is not here yet. Carlos Gualberto. Present. Okay, so good. Uh, Domingo Alexander. Present. Okay, great. Eder de Jesus. Present teacher. Okay, good. Fatima Alejandra. Is Fatima here? No yet. Okay. Let me see. Gilmar Cruz. I'm a mí que anda viendo el eclipse, quizá. <risa> no, pero el eclipse va a iniciar a la una. Y en su punto máximo, tipo cuatro. 
No, pero desde ya anda buscando un buen lugar. <risa> ok, good. Hey, Hilmar, are you there? Hey, teacher. Okay. I was, I was just mentioning you <laughs> in the attendance list. Okay, but you're here. Uh, Jonathan Alexander. No, he's not connected yet. Jorge Elvir. Present. Okay. Jose Matias. Let's see. Uh, Jose Matias is not here. here. Ah, okay. Okay. Good. So you were not there. I don't have a light at the moment. Ah, you're the one. Uh, I just saw a, a message. You're the one that doesn't have electricity? Yes. Oh, okay. All right, no problem, mister. Let's see, Carla Benazir. Present. Right. Marco David. Okay, not here yet. Present, Ma teacher. Marita. Uh, ah, yeah, me, yeah, there. <laughs> I didn't listen, you know. I'm, I'm eating bread. Ah, okay, okay. Enjoy it, man. Thanks. All right, Maritza Alcira. Is it Maritza here? No, she's not here. Marlon Alberto. Hi, Marlon is, is, is... Present. You're on the way home, right? Just arriving. Ah, okay. Perfect, man. Perfect. There you go. Let me check. This is what this computer has. This low. Mauricio Alexander. Okay, it's not here. Romeo Alexis. No here yet. Rosa del Carmen. Present. No, okay, very good. Let me see. Vanessa Odette. Okay, she's not here. William Eduardo. Uh, no here. Jasmine Melanie. Oh, yeah, Yasmin is on the way home, he says. Okay. Jennifer Noemi. Present. Okay. Natalie, no, she's no longer here. Stephanie Lisette. Uh, she usually connects late. And the last one, William Albert. Present. Ah, okay, very good. There you go. Okay, people, so officially good evening to everybody. We're going to start uh, with the development of the things that we got for tonight. If you remember yesterday, uh, I told you that today we were about to start with a short feedback from the previous class, the class that we were practicing yesterday. And we were about to start a stride on the manual, right? Because we were missing one page from the previous topic, okay? And in that case, yeah, yeah, Romeo, ya lo había mencionado. Ya lo puse acá en la asistencia, right? No problem. Uh, as I told you, we were about to do, to do that page, but we couldn't. So today we're going to start with that page, that specific page in the manual. But before starting working on that page, can somebody tell me what was the topic that we were discussing last class? What do you remember? Hi Maritza, you're added on on the on the on the assistance, okay? On the attendance, okay, perfect. All right, people, what do we remember from last class? What was the main topic? Like like a brief introduction to 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 the class. What was the topic that we were discussing yesterday? How do you say the? Mistake in the company. Ah, okay, okay. In that case, right? The the technical vocabulary was 
ways or how to report an issue, right? That was the main thing that we were practicing, okay? And you were given a series of examples about how to report an issue and all those things, right? There you go. Hey, look at Carla. She got a, a, the Christmas tree already. Nice, Carla. <laughs> Hey, that's cool. No se aguantó, ¿verdad? Ya puso el arbolito. <laughs> hey, no, that's true. That's true. Por ponerlo. That's true. Yo lo voy a poner este fin de semana, I mean, it's just like... Ya. Yo lo puse el fin de semana. Nos pican las manos por hacer eso. Hey, you're not right. <laughs> es que un mes no es suficiente, right? It's not enough. No, no alcanza. Ah, ok. All right. Very good. So people, um, as I told you, we are going to start with, with the page that we did not finish last class. That page is page 29. I mean, page 30, actually. 29, we finished already. Uh, it's gonna be the page 20, 30. Yeah, that's the page. I'm going to project it in here before studying the topic for tonight, of course. This is the one that I told you that we were about to start today, okay, as a feedback. All right, and it says expressions for describing issue. It's just troubleshooting, right? And look at this. In here, we got some expressions that are taken from the conversation that we were practicing yesterday. If you remember the conversation that we were practicing over here, over here, there are some expressions that are involved, like this, están en negrita. Okay, those expressions are taken into here and put them into this chart. For example, we got, uh, we got this one, it says, I'll have a look at it. Listen, I'll have a look at it. Si lo pronuncia rápido es, I'll have a look at it. El, la T en este caso se convierte en R. Okay, al momento de pronunciarla. I'll have a look at it. Listen, I'll have a look at it. Okay, si ya lo hacemos despacio, right, like slow. Yeah, in that case, it will be, I'll have a look at it. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, in that case, what, what do you understand by that, people? Do we know that expression? What is that expression about? ¿Qué queremos decir con esa expresión ahí? Because we need to, we need to, we need to have a mind and we need to memorize those expressions, right? Maybe keep it in mind. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Keep, uh, kind of, kind of, kind of. Aha. Uh -huh. And you got to keep it in mind. But in this case, this expression is like, ah, le echaré un vistazo. Okay? That's, that's what the expression means. Right? That's what the expression means. All right, then we got, it doesn't work properly. Listen up. It doesn't work properly, right? What, what, the, what do you mean by it doesn't work properly? ¿Qué entendemos por eso? If I tell you, hey, your computer. I'll have a look at it. I hope I. Nice, okay. In that case. I'll have a look at it. Okay, cool. I have a look at it. All right. It doesn't work properly. Like, for example, when I say, listen, listen, your computer doesn't work properly. Probably your computer has problems. Significa que su computadora no está trabajando apropiadamente. Mm -hmm. Properly means apropiadamente, right? That's what it means. Okay. Jorge, help me out with the third example, expression, actually. Can you read it for me, please? What? This one. Read. Okay. It makes a strange noise. Ah, okay. It makes a strange noise. Les ha pasado que ustedes van, van conduciendo, right? Los, los que conducen, van conduciendo y de repente escuchan un ruidito medio raro en el carro o en el moto. All right. And so eh, that happens even with, with, with cars, right? Or motorcycles. <laughs> No, in el bus, no, right? But anyway. Uh -huh. But in that case, that happens. Even with computers, with, with the machinery that we work in, in the company, okay? 
that indicates that probably that machine, okay, has a problem, right? And needs attention, okay? Ah, so como que hace un ruido extraño, right? And in here we got, I need to. This one opens the, the, the idea for every type of problem that you can mention, right? I need to check the computer. I need to upgrade the computer. I need to change the battery of uh, what? The car, okay, whatever. In ese caso, podemos reportar cualquier tipo de problema con es, eh, eh, iniciando con esa expresión, right? I need to. Por eso tiene los tres puntos suspensivos right, over there. Then we got the next one. Uh, let's see who can help me out reading. Ever, help me out, please. I need to speed things up. Ah, uh -huh. I need to speed things up. What does it mean, Ever? Necesito que eh, funcione más rápido. O necesito que sea más rápido. All right, it says I need to speed things up, right? O necesito eh, acelerar las cosas o algo así. There o, you go. Maybe do it exactly. faster. Exactly. Necesito acelerar las cosas, right? That's what it means. Very good. Okay, cool. Uh, but how about this one? Let me see who can help me out with this. Maritza, help me out reading, please. Check the brushes once a fortnight. Ah, okay, the brushes, brushes. Brushes. Okay, what is once a fortnight, people? Cada 15 días, una vez cada, cada 15 días. Okay, very good. Once a, once a fortnight, that, that's what it means, right? Una mm -hmm. vez cada 15 días. Okay, very good. There you go. So uh, check the brushes once a fortnight. There you go. That's related to, to, to the machinery, right? Los pinceles que ciertas máquinas tienen, right? Like you need to check Chequea them. Check los pinceles exactly. una vez cada 15 días. Exactly, right? Sí, yeah. Sir. There's another one. William Rodriguez, help me out read it, please. Uh, I had to extend the shot. Ah, okay, very good. I had to extend the shot. ¿Qué entendemos por eso? I had to Como extend the shot. Tiene que extender el cierre, algo así. Nah, okay, very good. Yeah, I mean, I had to extend the shot. Okay. Ese puede tam también tener, eh, lo podemos utilizar cuando por algo de motivos, right? Uh -huh. Right? To extend the shot. Shot is like como cierre, okay, from something. Right? Or a certain or very specific areas in the, in the company. Okay, and then we got the last one, a minor fault. A minor fault. What does Problema it mean? Leve. Exactly, right? Something that probably don't cause, you know, like a lot of problems, right? A little problem, yes. Yeah, very good. There you go, people. So we got that part. Uh -huh. Let me see. Let me this. Let's continue in this part. Okay, this one is the one I was telling you that I, I needed your help, okay? This one, listen. Match the expressions or words with the phrases in the left. For example, look, in here, in here, you have the definition, okay, in this area. And in here, you got the concept. What do you have to do? Put the letter, put the letter that corresponds to every, every concept over here. For example, let's do number one. It says, small, unimportant problem. Al pequeño, y a sin un problema fall. sin importancia. A minor, a, a, a minor fault. Okay, a minor fault. There you go. So, letter E, bring it and put it over here. Right? Okay, cool. So, I will give you, let me see, two minutes, two or three minutes to finish that. Let's complete the other ones, right? Si no tienen el manual impreso, háganlo en su cuaderno. You might do it there. 
right? But let's do it. When you finish, just let me know, okay? Just let me know. Ah, okay. You finished? Excellent. Let's wait for your classmates. Done. Okay, very good. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, cool. Let's start. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna make this smaller. Good. Domingo, read the definition number two and mention the concept. Which one do you have? Uh, check, check it. Um, Check it. Uh huh. It picks things up. Big things B. up. B. That's what you got. Okay. Ah, uh, has somebody got it differently? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Little C. Little C. Little C. Look at it. Letter C. Yeah, Domingo. En este caso es have a look at it. All right? Como echar un vistazo. Es lo mismo que check it. Revisarlo, right? Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. E Eso es como sinónimos, right? Si usted dice, I'm going to check it. O I will check it. Ah, lo revisaré. O I'll, you know, like, I'll uh, have a look at it. Ah, le echaré un vistazo, lo revisaré. They are the same. Okay. Good. Thank you. Alfredo, let's read number three. Number three, a period of two weeks. Uh -huh. uh, what is that, man? Uh, a fortnight. A fortnight, very good, yeah, a fortnight. A fortnight. Very good, yeah, I mean like every, every 15 days, right? That's what it means, very good. Uh, Hilmar, help me out with the other one. And number four, do something faster is letter, letter B, is picking out. Very good, right? When you do something faster, it means que lo hace más rápido, right? That's speed things up, okay? Eso es acelerar las cosas, right? Like speed things up. Very good. There you go. And uh, William Rodriguez, let's read the last one, please. Okay. Make the shop down longer. Longer. Uh huh. Let A extend the shop. Ah, okay. Extend the shot. There you go. The shutdown. You know what is shutdown? Shutdown is the same. The same is a synonym of shut, right? Basically similar. Very good. Okay, now it says like get it in pairs and I think of a problem that might occur with the machinery of your workplace. Okay, we're gonna meet that team. Okay, we're gonna think, okay, we're gonna weigh these things 
esto era lo que realmente eh, era como más, más eh, que me interesaba que termináramos, right? Now we are going to stop in here a little bit. Vamos a comenzar a ver un poquito sobre el tema que vamos a ver esta noche. Then we're going to come back to the manual for a conversation that we, that we have over there and a series of exercises. So I'm going to stop sharing for a moment in here and I'm going to put the presentation Bien. that we are going to Bien. Okay, just give me a second. Give me a second. Okay, here you go. Okay, I have problems with the presentation. No, but this one is the one. Yeah, this is the one. Present. Okay, so this is the video conference. Remember, number 12, right? And today's topic is how to use present perfect. I don't know if you are very familiar or have you ever heard about this this ex, eh, this tense before? ¿Han, han escuchado hablar de esta estructura antes? Probably here in the class, no. the outside. All right, this this is structure. As far as I remember, we haven't. This is the first time we first time. take a look at it, right? Yeah, this is the first time. All right, but you will identify this is a very easy structure, but it's really important. Really, really, really important. For example, ¿alguna vez ustedes han visto una lista de, 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 de verbos irregulares o verbos regulares en, en internet o ya sea en una página o something like that que siempre suelen aparecer tres líneas que aparecen base form, simple past y aparece una tercera opción que dice past participle. Past participle, right? Entonces, esa tercera forma en past participle es la que utilizamos como verbo principal para el desarrollo de esta estructura. And you will, you will see right now a series of examples and the structure itself. So, as always, what do we got for tonight for the rest of the class? We got the review from the previous class, of course. This is something that we have finished already. Algo que acabamos de terminar hace rato. Uh, the question to discuss, uh, we're going to do that later. Vamos a hacer eso un poco después. How to use the present perfect. That's the structure that we're going to be practicing right now. Es lo que vamos a hacer en estos momentos. Then we are going to go to the manual and practice a conversation that is in there, okay, related to the present perfect structure. There are some exercises in there that we are going to complete them. And then we are going to check those exercises, right? So this is pretty much. Uh, what we have for tonight class or the rest of the class, right? Good. Let's continue. Check this out. Uh, let's see who can help me out with the reading. Ever, help me out reading, please. Present perfect. Okay, present perfect. Use present perfect to talk about your finished action. Unfinished. Unfinished. Unfinished actions or states or habits that started in the past and continue to the present. Excellent, thank you, mister. Listen up, listen. Generally, when we talk about the simple past, we know that is an action. When we talk about the simple past, is an action that started in the past and finished in the past and no longer continue to the present. Si hablamos del pasado simple, es una acción que comenzó en el pasado y terminó en el pasado, right? Y que ya no tiene ninguna relevancia en el presente, right? Nothing to do. Ok, si hablamos del presente simple, podemos decir, actions that we do every day as normally, our daily life activity, right? What we do every day, like for example, go to work, take a shower, para los que nos bañamos todos los días, o para los que sentimos frío, right? No nos bañamos. Más ahora con los frentes fríos. Nah, nah, right? I mean, Jorge, you like, yeah, kind of. <laughs> yeah, and 
Okay, those are activities that we do every day, right? And makes relevant, uh, you know, like, like takes relevance every day. Good. If you talk about future, ah, actions that has not started yet, right? Cuando hablamos ya de futuro, son acciones que no hemos comenzado todavía. Right, good. ¿Qué pasa con el present perfect? Listen, dice acá, we use the present perfect for, listen, unfinished actions or states or habits that started in the past and continue to the present. All right, like a brief definition of it is, utilizamos el presente perfecto para hablar de actividades, and I'm going to say this for you to understand better. Listen, actividades que comenzamos en el pasado y no hemos terminado y todavía tienen relevancia en el presente. Y hay una gran posibilidad que sigan teniendo relevancia a futuro. ¿Ok? Por eso dice unfinished actions. Acciones no terminadas, no completadas. ¿Right? Que se in... sabemos que iniciaron en el pasado, tienen relevancia en el presente y continuamos a futuro. Example. Look. Ustedes pueden decir a modo de ejemplo. Vamos a poner un ejemplo súper, súper claro. ¿Right? Y después vamos a leer esos que tengo ahí. Look at this. Ustedes pueden decir este ejemplo en base a esa estructura. We have, listen, we have studied English since, cuando iniciamos módulo 1? Reminds me, please, ¿en qué mes fue? Do you remember, people? I don't remember. No. <laughs> Junio. June, October. yes. June. October. October. <laughs> okay, no, 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 no. Listen, we have studied English since June. Look, literally, this is the structure to talk about present perfect. Look, esta es la estructura de un presente perfect, una oración de un presente perfect. Listen, dice literalmente, hemos estudiado inglés desde junio. ¿Qué significa? Listen, que desde junio comenzamos esa acción, el proceso. Ah, es una acción que hemos venido haciendo. ¿Por qué? Porque todavía estamos. Ok, now in simple, pre in, in the, you know, like in present, we are uh, doing the action. Todavía estamos haciendo la acción y tiene relevancia a futuro. ¿Por qué? Porque es una acción que no terminamos todavía, right? Es un proceso que va a durar meses. Entonces, That's the idea, right? Entonces, este es el uso. <laughs> Come on, man. So, this is the use of a present perfect. Para hablar de acciones que comenzaron en el pasado, tienen relevancia en el presente y continúan a futuro. All right? That's the one. Entonces, este es un, como un ejemplo súper claro uh, sobre esa estructura. Okay, we got uh, a series of examples over here. Marco, can you please read example number one? Um, I have gone to work this week. Okay, very good. I have gone to work this week. Literally, in Spanish, we say, he ido, listen, he ido a trabajar esta semana. Okay. ¿Por qué, por qué mencionamos eso? O cómo, ¿Por qué lo traducimos de esta manera? He ido a trabajar esta semana. Listen, listen. Porque desde que inició la semana, Usted comenzó a ir, o sea, la acción la comenzó al inicio de la semana, la semana no ha terminado y pues hay una gran posibilidad que lo siga haciendo. Entonces, una acción que comenzó a principio de semana, vamos a mediados de semana y todavía continúan y pues como la semana no ha terminado, van a seguir haciendo esa actividad. Right? So that's why we uh, translate or mention the, the structure this way. All right, the next example. Uh, Carla, help me already, please. She has checked the report. Now, okay. She has checked the reports. There you go. Ustedes se preguntarán, pero ¿qué hace el verbo have ahí? ¿Qué tiene que ver have en esa estructura? Si have significa tener, right? En este caso, déjenme decirles que el verbo have está actuando como un verbo auxiliar. 
it's an auxiliary part of the verb. Entonces, ahí como verbo auxiliar no significa tener, ¿ok? Como verbo auxiliar significa a o e. Esa es la traducción en español, ¿ok? Del verbo have, a o e. And let's remember, let's remember. For first person, like for example, with I, with you, we and they and plural nouns, we use have. For she, he, it, in singular nouns, we use has. Okay? La tercera forma, right, eh, eh, de, del verbo. In singular. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's continue because teacher, I want, I want teacher, to show you. Yes? Eh, ¿Qué dijo que significaba en esta ocasión have? Ah, es básicamente a o e. Ah, o es. Yes. Ok. I'm going to show you why. Entonces, la, 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 la traducción expresa es: ella ha chequeado los reportes. Exacto, ella ha revisado. Y cuando se refiere eh. a primera persona, usted mismo es como que: ah, he ido, he estudiado. ¿Y sí? Por eso mencionaba: a, ah, como para mencionar otra persona, o e. Eh. Okay. O si nos referimos a una segunda persona, as. Okay. Yeah, depending on the context, of course. All right, let's see the present perfect structure. Let's talk a little bit about the structure that we're going to be using. Okay. Check this structure, people. We got the subject because as, every, as everything you know, like we need a subject. Okay, let's remember that a subject can be a pronoun or a proper noun, right? Then we got the auxiliary verb have or has, okay? Dependiendo si es primera o tercera persona, si es singular o plural, right? We got have or has. Plus main verb in past participle. Creo que esto es como lo más relevante acá. Que el verbo principal va en pasado participio. That's the name of that uh, verb form, right? Pasado participio. Vamos a hablar un poco de, eh, acerca de, 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 de esa estructura de pasado participio para que podamos entender de mejor manera. All right. Uh, right after the verb in past participle, we need a complement, right? To make the, you know, like the, the example and the sentence more specific. Do we have some examples? Yes, of course. Uh, and for this example, I want Jennifer to help me out. I have sent some emails with this week. Ah, okay, very good. I have sent some emails this week. Check that out. Tenemos el subject over there. We got the subject. Luego tenemos la estructura, que es, you know, like the auxiliary verb, have. Y luego tenemos el verbo principal en pasado participio, que en este caso es el verbo sent. ¿Ok? Que es la forma pasada participio del verbo send, enviar. ¿Ok? Listen, como les mencionaba, hay tres formas del verbo. ¿Ok? There are three forms. Look, hay tres formas. Las que conocemos nosotros que son, look. Base form, okay, simple past and past participle, okay. In simple, in the base form, for example, tenemos el verbo eat, okay, eat. Everybody knows what is eat, right? Todos sabemos que significa eat, okay. También todos sabemos que el verbo eat es un verbo irregular. ¿Y qué pasa con los verbos irregulares? We change. We change. Exactly. Exactly, Marlon. There you go. So, entonces, Marlon, uh, o alguien que me diga, ¿cuál es la forma pasada del verbo eat? Eight. Excellent. Eight. That's the simple past. Entonces, cuando usamos el simple past para hablar sobre acciones pasadas, right? I ate breakfast in the morning. Es una acción que ya inicié y ya terminé 
okay, en la mañana, right? I ate breakfast in the morning. Now, in this, in this, in this part, look. Ahora bien, en pasado participio o past participle. Look, el verbo es eaten, eaten o eaten. There you go, eaten. Okay, eaten. That's the way. Okay, eaten. If you take a look in there, prácticamente cambia en las tres formas, right? Porque este es un verbo irregular. Hay muchos irregulares que cambian sus tres formas. Hay otros que solo cambian eh, dos, right? And that's it. Y hay otros que no cambian en ninguna, que es lo mismo para todos. Okay, in this case, eat. ¿Qué decíamos que era eat in Spanish? Comer. Eh, what is eat? Comido. Ah. Comido. Oh, comí. O comí. comí. Yes. That's in simple yes. Comido. Oh, comió, exactly, right? But in past mm -hmm. participle es lo que Matías estaba mencionando. Comido. Este, esta estructura es el pasado comido. participio. Comido. Es cuando le agregamos el ido, ok, al verbo. Ok. No, no tenía esa duda. Yes. Entonces, esa es la estructura que utilizamos acá en, en, esta, en este tiempo verbal, right, que estamos viendo. Ok, good. Entonces... Vengo acá y puedo decir, she has eaten chicken this week. Ah, ella ha comido pollo esta semana. Check that out, right? Ah, another special <coughs> thing that you got to remember. Look, another special thing that you have to remember. Listen. Cuando vamos a, 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 a mencionar las time expressions, o cuando vamos a mencionar time expressions como every day, every week, or you, you know, all, all those expressions, or, or tomorrow, yesterday, whatever, generalmente esas expresiones no son usadas con esta estructura. ¿Cuáles son las expresiones más utilizadas? Son estas. This But, week, this week, this month, exactly. year, month, year, yes. ¿Por qué? Ah, porque estamos hablando de esta semana cabe la posibilidad, ok, que en esa misma semana se vuelva a repetir esa actividad, right? Or Entonces, por eso, exactly, por eso se menciona de esa manera. No podemos decir like yesterday, porque entonces es una acción que ya finalizó, right? Pasado simple. Exactly, right? Eh, we, don't, we, don't, we don't use them in that case. I cannot say today, no puedo decir ahora, right? Aunque hay ciertas excepciones, hay algunos aspectos que podemos utilizar today, right? Y no hay ningún problema, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, si ustedes dicen, I have eaten ice cream today, ¿ok? He comido helado este día. Probablemente usted, dice, usted esté diciendo esa expresión a mediodía. Ah, cabe la posibilidad que en la tarde usted vuelva a repetir la acción, right? ¿ok? That case. Ah, uh, there's a possibility. Pero no podemos decir, por ejemplo, tomorrow. Right? Porque es una acción que ni siquiera ha, ha, ha comenzado, right? Entonces ya no podemos eh, crear una oración, una estructura en presente perfecto con ese tipo de expresiones, right? Entonces, just keep that in mind, right? This week, this month, this year, or today. Esas son como las expresiones de tiempo que podemos usar si queremos ser más específicos, right? Eh, in, in, in the frequency of activities. There you go. Por ejemplo, ah. teacher, en, 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 Juan, en esta misma oración, Ajá. también cabe today, ¿verdad? Yes, yes, yes. For example, she has eaten chicken, look, look, today, this week, this month, this year. Ok, you can put it that way. O si no quiere mencionar ninguna de las de, de esas expresiones, is still okay. Todavía está correcto. Solo que, solo que ahí estamos generalizando. Desde que, desde que por pues, apoyo por primera vez, right, hasta el día de hoy. Entonces, ya estamos hablando de una manera súper generalizada, right? That's the, that's, the, that's the difference. Good. Hasta acá. Eh, do we have any questions or everything is okay? Have a question. Okay, go on. Good. First, okay. Matías, then Maritza, and then William. Uh, 
for example, uh, uh -huh. when do you use uh, um, the verb participle? Uh, what do you mean? When do we use the verbs in pasado participio? That's what o you mean? Sea, sí, sí, pero ¿cómo sabemos cómo transformarlo? Ah, aquí viene la o sea, parte. En, ¿no? por, Ajá, por, aquí. por ejemplo, drunk. Ah, aquí viene la parte. Drink. Okay, acá viene la parte no tan divertida, Matías. Usted tiene que memorizarse esos verbos. That's the only thing. Sí, no, pues sí, pero, pero, yeah. o sea, es que eso, eso pasa, o sea, ajá, eso, ajá. no lo voy, no lo voy a memorizar los, los, todos los verbos ahorita, ajá, conforme ajá. uno va estudiando, poco a poco se los va guardando, exactly. porque es, 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 ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué, Matías? Example, look. Mm -hmm. Con los verbos irregulares, como ve acá, cambian en oh, sus sí. tres formas. Algunos no cambian, por supuesto, pero la gran mayoría sí. Pero vaya, si ya mencionamos verbos regulares, ahí hay, hay, hay algo bastante interesante. Look, por ejemplo, tenemos el verbo work. Eh, este es un verbo regular. ¿Por qué? Porque si yo lo pongo en pasado... Working. Solamente le agrego ed. Uh -huh. Y si lo vengo a pasado participio. Working. Worked. You see? Same thing. Right? Entonces, acá, ¿qué es lo único que hay que prestar atención? La pronunciación. La pronunciación. Listen. Porque acá el verbo no es worked. Es worked. La pronunciación termina en t. Worked. Worked. Yes. In simple work. present, in simple present, is work. Termina en el sonido de la K, ah. right? Work. But, but, in past participle or simple past, is worked with T. Worked. Okay, at the end, es, right? Es en todo, lo, en todo, sería en todos los verbos, entonces, no, regulares. No, no, no en hard. todos. No en todos. Not in every. No, no, no. No, no pero, teacher. For teacher, example. Ajá. All the, all the verbs to end in ed, el t es característico in, the, in your pronunciation. Take this out. No en todos los verbos, not in all the verbs, vamos a pronunciar la t al final. Not in all of them. Look at this. Por ejemplo, check this out. Tenemos el verbo want. Mm -hmm. Want. Acá podemos decir wanted o wanted. Aquí sí ya se pronuncia la ed. Wanted or wanted. You see? Ya no es con T. ¿Ok? Entonces, ¿cómo vamos a lograr esto? Simplemente a través de la práctica y como uh, bien lo mencionábamos con Matías, este es un proceso que poco a poco a través de la práctica vamos guardándolo acá. ¿Alright? We're saving it here. So that's, that's, that's the thing. Entonces, ¿pero qué sí tenemos que tener en claro? Con los verbos regulares, simplemente les agregamos ed. A, a, excepción de todos los verbos que terminan en y, pero antes de la y va una consonante. What happened in that case? Play. Play. No, look at this, look at this. Mm, ahorita se los muestro a lo que quiero llegar con eso. Check this out, man. Tenemos el verbo study. Ok, el verbo study. Eh, termina en Y, pero, pero antes de la Y, si ve, va una consonante. Entonces, sustituye to hay me? Una, exactly. In that case, uh -huh. hay una regla que me dice que debo sustituir yes. la Y por I y agregar ED. Ejemplo, la idea. Like Studied. You see? Studied. 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 That's, that's, that's the way. It's, it's... Tarid. Tarid. You see. Entonces, siempre recuerden, es un verbo que Tarid. termina en Y, pero antes de Y va una, ¿una qué? Una consonante. ¿Qué sucede cuando el verbo termina en Y, pero antes de la Y va una vocal? Plus ING. No pasa nada. Add ING. Nothing happens. 
not, no, no, in that case, no podemos agregar ing. Ah, okay. es, es, es pasado, es pasado, right? For example, tenemos el verbo play. What happened in this case? Termina en y. Ah, sí, pero antes de la y va una vocal. ¿Qué hacemos acá? Agregamos el Simplemente agregar el e. You see? That's mm -hmm. it. So those are some rules that you have to remember. Entonces son cositas que tenemos que aprender y tenemos que tener en cuenta con los regulares, right? Small details. Mm -hmm. Those are small details. Good. That was Matias' question. Now, Maritza, what was your question? No, I don't have question, teacher. Who was the one that was? Ah, uh, Domingo, wasn't you? Alguien más aparte de Matías. I say. No, I don't have question, teacher. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, William, do you have any question? Okay, uno de William. <laughs> De las dos, William. Teacher, el, lo, una, ah, sería un poco fuera de lo que... Teacher, una consulta. Ajá. Ajá. Estas, son las tres form, estas serían las tres formas de, digamos, de, de los verbos, ¿verdad? Yes, este, that's correct. Bases, forma base, simple pasado y pasado participio. No hay yes. otra más. No. Estas son las tres formas principales de verbo. Ya. Yeah. Hay otras, One, sí, two, no, se los voy a, no se los voy a negar, pero, One, pero, eh, uh -huh. son formas que, que comúnmente no se utilizan tanto o, o se utilizan acompañadas de otras estructuras. Por ejemplo, con ING, con ING, entonces, eso ya sabemos uh -huh. que se convierte en un gerundio, ¿ok? Uh -huh. En un gerund, ¿ok? Por ejemplo, a ese se le conoce como presente participio. Ok. Por ejemplo. Al gerundio, teacher. Ajá, que es como, uh, en este caso. El participio play. sería presente continuo. No. Sí. En este caso se le conoce presente participio. De eso. Pero es igual, uh, no es igual al presente continuo. Yes, es the same. Solo sí, que se le conoce, listen, solo que se le conoce presente y continuo a la unión de un subject, el, la forma del verbo to be. Y uh -huh. el verbo en ING. Solo el muy verbo en ING no se considera uh -huh. presente, presente continuo. Eh. Se considera gerundio o present participle. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. Yeah. Good. Uh -huh. Any other question? Yes. <coughs> siempre, siempre, siempre. Que veamos el verbo have. O has a la uh -huh. par de un, de un, de un verbo. verbo de un verbo así que termine en ed siempre va a ser pasado participio yeah that's correct si tenemos la estructura subject auxiliary verb have or has and the verb in past participle so that's present perfect no nunca vamos a ver un have a la par de un de un digamos un How? Uh, mm -hmm. Simple pass. Ate. Ah, no. Mm -hmm. Nunca. No, never. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ya, yeah, inclusive en las formas pasadas, no, porque en ese caso, como estructura uh, de obligación, en este caso, igual, have se modificaría a pasado mm -hmm. y no el segundo verbo. Mm -hmm. Example, mm -hmm. si usted dice, I have to eat. Chicken. Ah, you see, aquí es otro, yeah, comí, otro visto, comí, right? uh -huh. es, En este caso aquí es tuve que comer pollo. Uh -huh. not, tuve que comer. So, en este caso acá ya no tiene nada que ver, right? Nothing to do. Ok. Yeah, good. Any other question, people? Because if you don't have any other question, we can move on. Domingo, are we okay? Eh, ok, ya he puesto socado. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Nada, si estamos ok o si hay alguna pregunta, let's, let's, let's say it. Vamos a aclarar todo. That's what we want. Pregunta, pregunta todo yes, lo que man. tengas que preguntar porque después cuesta. Yes, man. Ask whatever you want. No, ahorita estamos bien. Teacher. Are you sure? Ok. Uh, 
familia Cañengue. <risa> ah, Amilcar, change your name. Eh. <risa> ok, ajá, Amilcar, go on. Ok, um, el verbo have uh -huh. eh, y el verbo has, el have es para los. Okay. Para el, el has ah. es para la, las terceras personas. Okay. Y el have uh -huh. es para los. Look, look. For para I, los objects. For I, you, we, they, and the plural nouns, you will use have. For he, she, it, and singular nouns, you will use has. Okay? Muy bien. Y en el anterior ejemplo que puso de I had, I had to eat chicken, por ejemplo. Tuve uh -huh. que. Uh -huh. Ese had es... Eh, That's the past version. That's a simple past of how. De have, de have. Yes. yes. Y, y, si yo, y si lo quiero hacer en tercera persona, ¿cómo sería ese simple past? Es lo mismo, no cambia. He had. No cambia. He had, He to had eat. no. Yes. In that case. Es el mismo had para todo, todo, todo. Por eso es lo okay. bueno del pasado simple. Los verbos no cambian, a excepción del verbo to be, que son was y were. Mm, yes. Pasado simple. Yes. Simple past. Yes. Okay. Okay, good. Any other question, people? No. Y con, con respecto uh -huh. al a, a, a verbo to be, no, no, no sé, cambiaría, no, 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 no acá, en presente, acá, perfecto. No, acá sí, el verbo to be ya no tiene parte, aquí ya, ya no. No tiene, no, no sería presente, perfecto. Right. Y el pas, acá par... solamente, solamente, uh, I'm sorry, Mercado, just give me a second, le voy a aclarar algo a Domingo. Look, Domingo, acá lo único que podemos colocar del verbo to be, ok, en una oración en presente perfecto es como verbo principal. Example, look. I have been in a meeting with my boss. He estado en una reunión con mi jefe. En este caso acá, este, este sí, es sí, la forma verbo. pasada participia del verbo to be. Ok. Ok. Hola. Yes. Ahora <risa> 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 te pregunte todo lo que pueda. <risa> Ya, no, sí, sí, claro, sí. hasta a mí me acabas de iluminar, imagínate. <risa> yes, en ese caso, la forma pasada participia del verbo to be es esa, been. Been, no, yes. no la he visto. Ya, yeah. y solo así se puede utilizar en presente perfecto, no de otra manera, ¿right? Been, no, y en tantas no. veces que he visto been. Yeah, that's the only one. <risa> no, yo Entonces, no había que teacher, no. teacher and them, the past participle the have and has it says it sería la forma pasada participia the have and has ok mm -hmm. it's, yeah. it's, it's likely the same look look have or has in simple present right let me see it has. Has. ok in simple past had past participle had it's the same had ok mm -hmm. o sea que va a ser I, I have had. I have had. Yes, exactly. Have, I have too much work. Oh, exactly. Okay. Let, let me, let me, let me clear, clear up this. Déjeme borrar acá. Eh, yeah, look. Uh, no. I have had a lot of work. He tenido oh, mucho, trabajo. mucho trabajo. Look, I have como uh, auxiliar y have okay. como verbo mm -hmm. principal. En pasado mm. participio. You see? That's the way. Mm -hmm. Yes. He tenido mucho trabajo. Yes. O bastante ¿Qué trabajo. se refiere así? ¿Por qué se refiere así? Ah, porque probablemente, y ahí es una seguridad que a futuro va a seguir teniendo, right? Like, you know, like a lot of work. Salvo que se muera, ¿no? <risa> exactly. O, o you get fired, o lo despidan, ¿verdad? Right? Y como oh, están oh. en diferentes tiempos, la, la partícula tú no se usa, ¿verdad? Uh, no, no, hasta que case, tenga no. mucho pisto. <risa> exactly. <risa> no, in that case, uh, uh, the preposition to is not needed, Amilcar. 
It's not needed, right? Yeah, okay, mm -hmm. people. Just, just give me a second. I'm going to pass the attendance list and then we can continue, okay? Give me a second because it's not. It's easy. This is difficult, teacher. It's easy, man. Okay. Yes, but it has to be clear. If you have a question, I'll ask the same thing as you would. No problem, no problem. Give me one second. I'm just going to pass the attendance list and then we can continue. Give me one second. Wait. Familia Cañengue. Yeah, I mean, change your name, Amilcar. <laughs> Remember, it has to be your name. Alfredo okay. Alexander. Present. Good. Amilcar Cañengue. Present. Very good. Carlos Gualberto. Present, teacher. Ah, okay. Very good. Let me see. A las 12 de la noche me cayó un mensaje que decía no puedo entrar a la plataforma. Ey, es cierto de quién era ese mensaje. No, sin bromas, sin bromas. Yo a dormir iba bien tranquilo cuando de repente ping. ¿Qué pasó? Dije yo. No, hombre, ya pasé la clase. No, Irene, right, Carlos? No tenía señal, teacher, por eso no se pude enviar tampoco. Me lo imaginé. <risa> that happens, that happens. Domingo Alexander. Present. Very good. Uh, Ever de Jesús. Present. Good. Fátima Alejandra. No está en clase ahora. Hey, that's weird. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't generally mean in class. Helmar Cruz. Present. Hey, que callado ha estado Helmar. Hmm. Ok, Jonathan Alexander. Hemos estado en bajo perfil, ¿verdad, Irma? Ah, ya, yeah, men, Jorge, tú, right? No entendido bien el tema. That is weird on you. Y sintió, sintió la regañada que pegaron ahora en el chat, ah, seguro. ¿En el chat? ¿Qué ha pasado en el chat? ¿Y Cherry, por qué borraron el, 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 el mensaje? ¿Cuál mensaje? Es que es mandaron que un chat... mensaje. Ajá, la, 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 en Insafor, de Insafor mandaron un mensaje en el que decía de que prácticamente nos estaban regañando. ¿Really? Ajá. No, ni, sí, la, la, sí. Para ser honestos, no lo vi porque. Sí, y, 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 y yo, no, yo, no, yo, 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 yo escribí, o sea, yo le, le respondí a. Ajá. Y Puck lo borró. No, a lo mejor se debe haber equivocado de chat, probably. Ajá, es que son, believe me. Son barbaridad de chats, you know, like groups and everything. Probably, yeah. a veces con una letrita, como si ven el nombre del grupo, a veces con una letrita, ya, ya se, se va para otro, otro grupo. grupo. Exactly. Sí, porque ahí decía de que, de que ya no le tomé captura, pero decía de que, de, que, de que teníamos que estar en la clase el 85%, decía. Y... Mm. y no, no iban a lograr la beca, algo así. No, no, no iban a lograr la beca. No, nos iban a sacar. Nos iban a sacar. No, hombre, si es Generalmente es como, es como un, un, un mensaje informativo, pero eso es más que todo pues, cuando se va iniciando, eh, you know, like, like when people don't know about the process and all those things. O cuando los estudiantes están muy, muy, muy rebeldes. No, pero yo por ahí dije, dije a Milcar le están tirando, dije. No, no, no. Jesus do, Christ. Okay. Jorge Elvir. I am here. Good. Uh, José Matías. Yes. Good. Carla Benazir. Present. All right. Marco David. Present. All right. Maritza Alcira. I'm here, teacher. Good. Marlon Alberto. Present. Very nice. Mauricio Alexander. Present. Ok. Romeo Alexis. Present. Ok, good. Rosa del Carmen. Present. Ok. Vanessa Oded. Present. Very good. William Eduardo. Present. Ok. Jasmine Melanie. Present in the chat. Ah, ok. Present, teacher. Todavía voy de camino. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yo creí que ya había llegado a su casa. All right. No problem. No, es que, es que estaba lloviendo y como pues eh, no oh, la, manejar así con lluvia y venía de Santa Tecla. Ah, en Santa yeah. Tecla llovió fuerte. Uy, qué rico. Acá Entonces, no. 
Ya casi, ya casi llego a mi casa, pero, okay. pero me falta poquito. All right. Pero, acá no llueve desde hace como un mes. <risa> ya, me no, no, en Santa no, Teca sí llovió fuerte. Acá ya donde, este... donde no llueve, dice, porque hay muchos brujitos, dice. Ah. <risa> hey, no, hombre, ¿qué pasó? ¿Qué pasó? <risa> Aquí en, ah, San Miguel, aquí, en, aquí en San Miguel lo único que hay es va animales, fuerte. vacas, cattle, you know. Ah, Popo City llovió fuerte. Ah, cool. Sí. All right. Uh, Jennifer Noemi. Present. Okay, good. Nathan is not here. Stephanie Lisset. No, Stephanie is not here yet. Okay, William Alberto. No, 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 no. Is it William here? Qué buena captura hicieron. No, okay, good. Yeah. Which one? Capturaron la, la información que mandaron hoy. No, nah, come yeah. on, and you're resent it. Yeah. 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 yeah, no, yeah, yo no. Yo no, ahí está, ahí lo acaban de poner. Really? Ah. Ah, no, sí, eh, vaya, más que todo, si ¿sí ve, son requisitos, los requisitos, más que todo, ¿verdad? ¿vale? Entonces. Ahí está la ahí... regañada por si no, no la recibieron. No, 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 no es regañada, si ¿sí ve, dice, se solicita que se responda en el curso. O sea, eh, es que eh, han, digamos, por así decirlo, recordemos que son grupos, o sea, que son financiados el 100%, usted no está pagando, like, nothing, right Entonces, hay otros que inclusive se quedan fuera del proceso, ya sea por un papel or something, you know, like people who really, who really want to be in the group. Y hay muchos que oh, solo se inscriben y no se conectan, right? They, they, they don't connect. Entonces, eh, a veces no es ni por motivos pero, de trabajo. ¿Pero por qué lo borraron, que... No, como le digo, es que a lo mejor, le, como le digo. No era para nosotros. No era para ustedes, quizás para un grupo de inicio, entonces. O, de, o, o decía que había que ver... Que... No había que ver el partido y, y estar más en el grupo, o algo así. <risa> okay, Era ah, para otro grupo okay. que hacía lo mismo. Ajá, ajá, sí, güey. <risa> no, but probably, probably that's what happened. A lo mejor sí, sí. Uh, haber sido para otro grupo, por eso lo han eliminado. Generalmente no, 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 no eliminan los, los, los comentarios así. All right. Check this out, people. Let's continue this, this case. Um, good. Where do we stay? Any question from here and on? Bien, uh, alguna otra pregunta que tengamos así, like, you know, like textual that you can ask? No? Okay. Bien, vamos a ver entonces en el desarrollo de los ejercicios y, like, you know, like the examples we can see. All right, this is another example. Uh, Carlos, let's read. Uh, the last example. Yes. You have worked a lot. Okay, worked a lot. Worked. Yes. Lot. Eh, let's remember. El pasado, el pasado del verbo work eh, termina con T, la pronunciación. Worked. Worked. Good. Yes. Very good. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we got another one. Maritza, help me out reading here, please. She has talked to her boss. In this case, talked. Talk. Listen, talked. Con T también al final. Talked. Talk. Talk. Very good. Talk. Yes. In that case, she has talked to her boss. All right. Ella ha hablado con su jefe. ¿Por qué lo usamos con presente perfecto? Ah, porque es una acción que ha hecho varias veces en el pasado. Todavía lo hace. All right. It has relevance in the present and probably will continue in the future. Right, is is an, an endless activity, right? Es algo de, de que se repite siempre. All right, let me see if I have another one. Yeah, Domingo, help me out, please. Yeah, he has had a bus, business business meeting business meeting meeting, meeting. very meeting. good. He has had a business meeting. Ah, in here, look, tenemos has, okay, in perform, right, como auxiliar, y tenemos have como verbo principal en pasado participio. You see? Que yeah, ha tenido, okay, una reunión de negocio. You see? 
She has had a business meeting. Okay. There you go. Are you are you copying this information? Yes, teacher. Okay. Let me know when you finish so I can move on. Permítame, teacher. Permítame. Okay. Okay. So. Ah, uh, yeah, I mean, that was a good information, actually, uh, Hilmar. Thank you for sending it. I don't remember, it was, eh, fue en su grupo cuando todavía estábamos eh, 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 en el grupo anterior, right, Carla? En el que envié, no sé si estaba ya Maritza y Ever y Jorge, que envié sí. una lista de verbos irregulares. Do you remember them? Que era más, más que todo irregulares con pronunciación incluida. Yes, la voy a volver a enviar por si quieren revisarla. Esa lista tiene inclusive la pronunciación escrita al lado de cada verbo. ¿Ok? Y tiene traducción al español. Just for you to check it. You know, like, PDF. Just in case. Yeah, it's a PDF. Ok. Finish this. All right, perfect. So, let's continue. Some verbs in past participle form. Take a look at this. I brought some verbs that we, that we can, you know, like use to create examples. We got go. The past participle form of the verb go is gone. Okay, gone. And do you remember the simple past of the verb go? Mm -hmm. The simple past is went. 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 Very good. Go, yeah. went, gone. All right. Another one. Send. Okay. Send, simple present. Sent, simple past. And sent, past participle. It's the same. Look. Sent. It doesn't change. Both structures is sent. Hmm. We got another one. Look, work. work. So we got work and we got the same in here. Let's put it in here. Worked. Entonces, ambos, tanto pasado como pasado participio, eh, son lo mismo. Worked. ¿Por qué? Porque es un verbo regular, right? We just add ED. Then we got listen. Listened with V at the end, that's the simple past. Listened. This is a regular verb. Listened. And we got the verb study. Study, the simple present. Studied, the simple past or past participle. All right, if you take a look in there, it remains, it remains the same. Okay, we got another one, change. Changed with T, changed. That's the simple past and also past participle. No es changed, okay? Como algunos me lo pronuncian, changed. No, changed with T. Changed. Changed. Yeah, that's the, the simple past and past participle. Changed. I think those are the ones that I, I, I brought. Let me see. Yeah, those are the ones. If you want to take a look there. Son pocos los que, los que son los que cambian bastante la estructura de, de, del past al participle, participle, verdad? Ya, yeah, más que todos son los irregulares, eh, pero como le digo, no, no son todos. No ¿sabes? todos, va, no todos. Yeah, Ajá, yeah. todo bien. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's right, that's right.
Let me know when you finish that, writing that, right? ¿Qué quiere que hagamos, tío? ¿Ah? ¿Qué quiere que hagamos? I saw that you were taking notes. ¿No están escribiendo? <laughs> ya terminé. <laughs> Mame. <laughs> Finish. No, me yo pensé I was que quería que hiciéramos or unas oraciones. Yo dije, no, me no, no. Like, oración. <laughs> 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 y usted con todo, ya. <laughs> no, pues sí. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Look at this. Ah, no, 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 no. This is this is a negative, pero no todavía. Okay, look. Why don't we why don't we start uh, practicing with this? Listen. De acuerdo a alguna actividad que ustedes hayan hecho durante esta semana or something related to the work, whatever, I want you to give me one example using this structure. So let's see what's up if you have understood. Vamos a ver si realmente hemos comprendido cómo funciona esta estructura. I want one example, right, from the activities that you have done during this week. For example, I can say, I have taught English every night this week. You see? That's my, my, my example, right? Eh, you know, like, like enseñar inglés, okay, esta semana. Now, what is your example? Give me your example. Let's write it down, and when you finish, just let me know. I have studied English since 8 p.m. Aha, uh -huh. okay, very good. We have gone to class this week. Okay, we have gone to class this week. Very good. I have worked, 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 uh -huh. this week, very hard. Very hard this week. Very hard this week. Very good. Sure. Uh, I have a work all week. Okay, the whole week. Very good. I have done the homework. Ah, okay. Very good. I have, I done have gone to the doctor. Okay, very good. I have gone to the doctor. Very nice. I have go training outside this week i have gone training training there we go outside outside this week you said right yes very good i have gone training i train for the the change, the change, go, change, go, say, on, on the work. Uh, let's repeat Domingo and then Jorge. I, I, I Jorge I was know. saying something. No problem. Domingo, Domingo feels. All right. Where is Domingo? Domingo, uh, where are you? Excuse me, stupid. Pero las luces. I have I have gone at the world at the world. I have gone to work. Uh, I have gone to work. Yes, very good. My my example teacher. Okay. I I have gone to travel to Chitoto this year. I have gone uh to travel. Mm. Eliminémosle el verbo travel. El... Solo I have gone to Suchitoto. <coughs> es como he ido. Ok. A Suchitoto. Yes. Yes. Ok. Yo Porque pensaba, sí. yo en mi mente decía, he ido de viaje a Suchitoto. Uh, es que es mejor, vaya. O I have, o I have traveled to Suchitoto. O I have gone to Suchitoto. Uh -huh, All right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Es que en realidad, en realidad, si lo traducimos al español y usted le quiere dar esa connotación, así es a, a Matías. Uh -huh. Ya. Yeah. Y si digo, uh, I, uh, I have traveled a Guatemala. No. To Guatemala. To Guatemala. He viajado a Guatemala. To Guatemala. Uh -huh. Ok. Yes. Very good. Jorge, what was, what was the, 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 the comment that the you sample. were no, uh, I know. Li listen, the 
exchange for the example. I try for this this topic. Uh -huh. uh, for example, I have changed my mind, maybe. Uh, I have changed my mind. Okay, very good. Yeah, I mean, that's a good example. Okay, thank you. I have changed my mind. Teacher, yes. I, have, I have arrived more early at work. No. Earlier. Para comenzar ahí, earlier. Ese mm -hmm. es como más temprano. Pero repítame la oración, por favor. I have arrived no. more early at work. Give me a second. Give me a second. I have arrived. Yes. More early or earlier. No, en este caso, earlier. Más temprano. Earlier. Okay. This week. Very good. This, this is the idea. This is the one. Yeah, en este caso, solo hay que modificar. Okay. Uh, tengo que aquí decir es, una expresión de tiempo. No, aquí es opcional. Uh, si la quieren hacer más específico la oración. You can put it. Ah, no, bien. Así. At work. Ok. Teacher, ¿por qué? Earlier. Earlier. Porque uh -huh. este, earlier. este es un adjetivo. Entonces, look. Si yo tengo el adjetivo early, ok, uh -huh. significa temprano. Uh -huh. Earlier más temprano. Más temprano. Okay. Yo dije more early, o sea, no es correcto. Ajá, look, ¿no? El more solo se utiliza cuando el adjetivo es de tres o más sílabas. Ok, por ejemplo, interesting. Acá Muy yo no puedo decir, no puedo decir interesting y agregarle er. Decimos more, <risa> more interesting. Interesting. Girl. Entonces, interesting. Entonces, pues, exactly, right? It doesn't make sense. Entonces, tengan en cuenta, look, take into account, cuando un adjetivo tiene tres o más sílabas, entonces se considera un large adjective o adjetivo largo. A esto mm -hmm. simplemente se le agrega more. More interesting, more beautiful, more awesome. More right? intelligent. More intelligent, exactly, right? Entonces, pero And ya, maybe por ejemplo. Ajá. Sorry, maybe the top, it could be must. The must exactly. interesting. Ah, ya sería el uh, superlative, like the top, right? Yes. Must. M-U-M-U-S-T. Must. M-O-S-T. M O S T. M O S T. It's, it's like, for example, look, interesting, more interesting, the most interesting. Ah, uh, most. most. It's superlative. Interesante, más interesante, okay? El más interesante. Yes. El más mejor. Pero, yeah, el más mejor. <laughs> Okay. It's so interesante. Yeah, man, pero no nos vamos a meter acá porque va a ser que los confundan. No, no, pero, pero está bien, por lo menos ya llevamos esa idea. <risa> de idea, ya. No, no, es que, es que yo vi early. Ajá. Y yo, no, yo me acordaba que era solo early. Ajá, early, pero ya es comparativo, ya es earlier. Uh -huh. Y yeah. pensaba lo mismo, more uh -huh. early. Así uh -huh. pensaba yo que era más no, temprano. No. Listen. Cuando ustedes identifiquen un adjetivo corto, corto, corto desde una o dos Teacher. sílabas, entonces ahí siempre se tiene esa, esa modificación, ¿right? Otro, otro, ya... otro, otro, Teacher. Pongo otro. Por ejemplo. Let me see. Eh, otro que le agregue. Give me one, give me one, give me one. Important. No, ahí es un long no, adjective. More, more important. important. Something yeah. short, something short. Uno que conozcamos. Fast, faster. Okay, fast. You see, fast. Okay, Here. you see, in este caso, fast is a short adjective. Faster. <laughs> faster. Faster. Faster than. Okay. Y si lo queremos agregar en superlativo, the fastest. El más rápido. Ah, igual que la de best. Teacher, the y, lo contrario, y lo contrario a esta idea. Check this out. Look. 
the car is fast. Just give me a second. My car is faster than yours. Okay, my car is the fastest. And what is the best? Uh -huh. the best. Exactly, exactly. The mejor. Best. My car is the fastest in the country. This is an example, right? Entonces acá es como, you know, estoy categorizando mi carro como lo superior entre todos los demás, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is the way it's how it works. Exactly. Yes. No sure. lo voy a borrar. Ah, okay. Ah, hoy, borrar. Lo, hoy, lo, hoy lo estoy anotando. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sí, okay. Todo, hoy todo lo vamos a anotar. <laughs> Para que uh, no se me olvide. Eso yeah. es muy importante. Ajá, Milcar. Y lo contrario a esa idea que está planteando. ¿Cómo así? Más yeah. rápido y ahora menos mm. rápido. Ah, no, entonces ahí la es, el, es entonces ahí es el, adjetivo, the, the el adjetivo, el adjetivo solo se yeah, cambia, sorry, entonces slow, 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 es lo opuesto mm. a fast, okay. lento. Y si okay. es mucho más lento, siguiendo la idea que está planteando, yeah. de ir slow, en superlativo, listen, pero en, en... Listen, 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 es que aquí, Amilcar, lo único que hacemos es simplemente eh, ir comparando, mire, tenemos slow, Lower, Lower. Más mm -hmm. lento. Slow. Slowest. Como el más mm -hmm. lento. You see? Ok. Pa pero teacher, pero yo he, yo he visto una expresión less. Ah, pero es que ahí es menos. Uh -huh. Ajá. That's, that's, that is menos. When I say slowly. Slow, ah, no, entonces ahí ya no es adjetivo, ya ahí no. es adverbio. adverbio. Ad despacioso. Yes. ¿Verdad? Ya. Yeah. Entonces, no? listen, ahí ya estamos describiendo un verbo. Slowly. For example, uh, si dice, Amilcar walks slowly. Amilcar camina de manera de fácil. ¿Verdad? ¿Sí? Entonces ahí estamos hablando de un verbo. Sexy. <laughs> sexy. <laughs> I mean, actually, actually, sexy is an adjective. Sexy. Yes. You're the sexiest. Sleep <laughs> faster. Okay. <laughs> I am, man. Okay, good. I'm going to eliminate this because we need to move on, people. Give me a second. I'm going to clear up all this to continue. Good. Uh, did everybody finish with the examples? No, I think they were yes. examples. Uh, let me see. Carla, did you give your example? Yes, teacher. All right, Jasmine, how about you? Eh, no, no lo preparé. Solo escuché, venía escuchando. Ah, la manejada que lo venían haciendo. All right, yeah, okay, you're getting home. There Ahorita you estoy copiando todo lo que han puesto ahí. Okay, Romeo, how about you? Creo que yo voy a utilizar el has. Ok, do it. I has studied three months of the year. I has studied. I has studied three. No, 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 no. Ro Romeo, en este caso, lo que tenemos que hacer es no colocar el, 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 ha, el I. Tiene que ser ya sea he, she o it. En este caso, he o she o un nombre de, una, de, de alguien más para usar el has, ¿ok? Porque si usamos con I, entonces tiene que ser have, ¿ok? For example, Romeo, for example, listen, listen. You might say, my sister has, y luego mencionar todo lo demás que dijo. Ajá, uh -huh. well, okay. she has. Ok, ajá. Uh -huh. She has a story, three mm -hmm. months. Oh, Only third person that yes. use. Yes, very good. That's the way. Ajá, entonces ahí sí podemos utilizar ya, like, you know, has as a structure. Yes. If somebody else, eh, Mauricio, did you read your example, Mauricio? 
uh, I have many financial report this week. Uh, repeat again. I have made financial report this week. Ah, okay, very good. I have made financial report this week. Very good. Uh, William Eduardo. Are you there? William. Okay, I think he's not there. Okay, I think he's sleeping kindly. Teacher. <laughs> really? Uh huh. Yeah, but you said we have studied English. We have studied uh, English. Okay. English. Very he, good. Y en este caso, he has worked in home office. Yes, very good. He, uh, ha he has I worked in home office. Very good. I yeah. tell me him. Okay, right. very good. William Rodriguez, can you read your example for me? Okay, I have done work workout this week. I have done workout this week. Very good. Okay. Very good, man. Vanessa. I have changed my changed my cell phone. Ah, okay. I have changed my cell phone. Right? Like he cambiado mi celular, right? Good. Uh, Jennifer, do you read your example? I have organized my computer document this week. This week. Ah, very good, very good. Thank you. Carlos, do you do it? Do you do you read your example? I had work the last Saturday. Mm. Ese last, ese last hace ahí la regadita. Recuerde que como es last Saturday, es un, es un día que ya, ya, ya pasó, right? Entonces, ahí hace esa pequeña interferencia. ¿Ok? Usted puede yeah, decir simplemente... Week. Exactly. This week. Ok. O this weekend, right? This weekend. Ya, yeah, porque si, si decimos last, es un día que ya sucedió, entonces esa actividad durante ese día no se va a volver a repetir. Ok. Very good. Rosa? Your example, Rosa? Ah, uh, está investigando, pero que put is the same to the past participle and the normal. Cut? Put. Ah, put. P U T. Yes. Yes, the same, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. I hype. I have put my tree of Christmas. My Christmas tree. Oh, my Christmas tree. Okay. Yes. Hay verbos, por ejemplo, el verbo set, set, set. Put, put, put. Oh, cut, cut, cut. cut. Estos no cambian en las tres formas. Okay. Son los que tienen tres sílabas, dos, dos, dos consonantes y una vocal y terminan en tete. Mostly, la mayoría de ellos. Uh -huh. Alguna, obviamente no son todos, right? But, but most of them, most of them. Yeah, they don't change. Okay. You, you, ¿Qué es put? Put, poner. Uh -huh. yeah. Set. Colocar. Y cortar. Y cortar. Cut. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, let's continue. All right, people. Let me see. I think nobody else is missing. No. Okay. Vamos a ver un poquito. Uh, uh, antes de irnos a la práctica, let's see a little bit of, of uh, this structure in, in, in negative. Okay? In negative. Let me see. Let me I see. haven't... Yeah, the structure. Take a look at the structure. It says subject plus auxiliary verb have or has plus not plus main verb in past participle plus complement. An example. Uh, Matias, let's read number one. <clears throat> example. Yes. I have, an, I have not finished the finished? presentation. Finished. 
the presentation. Ah, okay, very good. Ever, second example. <clears throat> You haven't gone to the bus office. Okay. You haven't gone to the bus office. ¿Qué hacemos ahí? Entonces, ya podemos contractar, right? Get the, 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 the have plus not contracted. Y ahí ya sería haven't. All right. ¿Podemos contractar has y not? Claro que sí. Tenemos hasn't. Okay. Rosa, help me out reading this example, please. <clears throat> She hasn't finished her career. Her career. There you go. She hasn't finished her career. Right? Like, ella no ha finalizado su carrera. There you go. Very good. So, this is the way how we make sentences in negative. Entonces, esa es la manera en cómo creamos oraciones en negative. Right? Using this structure. Simplemente colocando not. Ok, después de el auxiliar. El auxiliar. Yes. It's not. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, any question up to now? Hasta acá. ¿Alguna duda? ¿Pregunta? Something that might not be clear for you, people? Yes, it's clear. Uh, everything is clear, William? Yes. Perfect, man. Perfect. Good. Entonces avancemos. Ah, let's work in the manual. Good. Pero antes de que nos vayamos a trabajar en el manual, look, this is not part, okay? Porque no me quería extender mucho con este, con esta estructura, porque me gustaría que mañana, like, you know, like, uh, we, uh, we continue with this part en algún área, como un feedback, pero just, just for general, for general truth. For general thing, look. Structure for this, for this, okay? In question. Mm -hmm. For you to know, look. Comenzando con una yes, no question. Structure. Look. En una yes, no question structure, tenemos. Have look. you finished? Have como auxiliar, ok. O has, ok. Plus. Subject. Plus. Ok, subject. Plus. Plus okay. participle verb. Or main verb. Verb, ok. In past participle. Plus complement, right? Plus question mark. Esta sería la estructura para una just no question. Example, listen. Have you finished your homework? Have you finished your homework? ¿Has terminado tu tarea? Yes, I have finished. Yes, I have. Ok. Sí, listen, listen, listen. Tenemos dos maneras de poder contestar acá. Yes, I have, de manera súper corta. O yes, I have finished. Solo yes. Solo yes, no se puede. Sería okay. súper informal. <coughs> no, I haven't. Ok, o no. I haven't finished my it. work. Yes. Podemos yeah. ponerla de esa forma. No, I haven't. No, I haven't finished it yet. No, no la he terminado todavía. You see? Good. It's only in el yet, teacher. Ah? Huh? Finished it. Sí, podemos hacerlo de esta manera. No, I haven't finished it. El okay. it, recordemos, el it reemplaza la palabra homework. Homework, sí. Ok. Entonces, el, entonces como que estuviéramos casi igual como, como trabajamos el, el do or that. Exacto. Su forma auxiliar. Exactly. Como acordémonos que este es un auxiliar, esa es la función. Right? Entonces, eh, casi similar se viene respondiendo. Bueno, well, la diablo. 
The rooster is saying that it's almost <laughs> 10. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> hey, teacher. No, look, look. Casa, el gallo, teacher. Ah, no, it's not. Really? No, yo creo que es en la de... Marco. No, hombre, para mí que ah, ella ah, en Marco. Yo creo que... <risa> ah, no, en la de Marco. Ay, sí. my children, my children, ayer, ayer, ayer mi perrito escuchaba el gallo y, y estaba ahí todo asustado. <risa> okay. yes, sir, yes, sir. No, no, listen, listen, listen. Para, 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 como para, 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 Listen, el gallo comienza a cantar y Jennifer empieza a hacer esto, miren. <ríe> <ríe> ¿Cómo va diciendo? Está ah, ahí. La la la. Hora. Ay, no <ríe> sleep. Hora de levantarnos. Come on, Jennifer. I'm missing like en ese minutes. momento de la cámara y qué casualidad que me está estirando. <ríe> Casualidad. Casualidad. Ajá, uh -huh. sure. Ok. Los gallos Did... cantan cuando se estiran. Exacto. Uh -huh. Did you copy? Did you, co <laughs> Did you copy this, this, this information? Yes. Can I move yeah. on? No. No. Moverme? Yeah. Ok. Yes. No, teacher, no, teacher. Ok, take an, a screenshot or everything, or something like that. Right? Good. Let me know when you finish because we need to move. Ya se van a oír los grillos por ahí también. Sí, cierto. No sé quién por ahí tiene grillos cerca porque se escuchan. Sí, se escuchan los grillos. ¿Vale? Aquí, grillos, perros, gritos. <risa> gritos. Ok. 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 Lamentos. <risa> no, no, no. no. Ay. No, no, no. Los perritos creo que vienen ahí de, de la casa de Marco. Yeah. No, me that, that was funny. You know what? A veces solía, solía uh, conectarme en la, en la mañana, tipo 9 de la mañana. You know, like when, when I was working in there, uh, online. Y a veces cuando me tocaba así, o sea, explicar algo y todo. A veces pasaba el camión, el carro de la papa, la verdura, el everything. No, that was funny. <laughs> Oye, se oye chistoso oír eso. La papa, la papa, la papa. Ya, yeah, bueno, that's funny. That's really funny. Y así como que, ah, bueno, ni modo. They listen. ¿Y, y ese gallo canta en inglés? Oye, ah, ¿hay con... otro por ahí? No, a, a, ese sí es acá. Ah, right, right. right. Ya no, escuchó, pero, ¿eh? No, pero este, es, este, está, este, está, este está cantando en inglés. Ah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, people. Let's continue. I'm going to uh, erase this, this thing. Give me a second. And let's. Yeah, I mean, it's fine, right? Ya tiene su hora los, los, los calles de cantar. Okay. Sí, de verdad, casi siempre a esta hora, toda yeah, la man. vida, a las, cuatro, a las tres, a las cuatro. No. Pero sé que está cerca de su casa, teacher. Está desfasado un minuto. Sí, está desfagrado. No, no es que está cerca, está en el patio de la casa. Ah. Ya, no, y lo, lo peor de todo es que no es uno, son como seis. A ver, a lot of them. Empieza uno y ahí van los demás. Man. All right, good. All right, people, look at this. Ah. Uh, This is the conversations that I was telling you, okay, that we need to practice. Look, we work tonight. What we are just going to do is just to uh, establish a short practice of it. And tomorrow we will continue with this at the beginning of the uh, class by repeating this, this, the whole, you know, like, like the whole, um, I can say this, the whole conversation. Okay, and uh, probably by the end of the week, when we got the feedback from everything, we're going to do a series of exercises related to this topic, okay? But like right now, we're just going to practice this. This short, actually is a kind of, kind of long conversation. All right, it says, let's listen to the teacher, read the conversation, then practice with the partner. That's what we're going to be doing, right? This is a conversation between Luke and George. 
Okay, so just pay attention when I finish uh, the reading, you can tell me if you have any question related to the vocabulary. It says, look, what's wrong with the computer, George? What's wrong with the computer, George? He says, George, hello, look. Hello, look, well, well, I don't know. I don't know. I have checked it everywhere. I have checked it everywhere and it won't turn on. And it won't turn on. It says, look, that's too bad. That's too bad. How about the connection? How about the connection? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? Have you checked all the cables are plugged? He says, George, yes, I have. Yes, I have. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. And Mario, the technician, has checked it too. We have not verified the rest of the computers. We have not verified the rest of the computers. Anna has had the same problem with the equipment. Anna has had the same problem with her equipment. Equipment, actually. Equipment. equipment. Yeah. It says, look. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah, I heard that. I heard has, that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries is as George. No, they haven't. No, they haven't. My boss sends them a memo every week. My boss sends them a memo every week. And he says, look, I see. I see. By the way, by the way, the technician is coming. The technician is coming. It says, George, great. I hope he can fix this problem. I hope he can fix this problem. All right, people, from this conversation over here, do we have any question related to, you know, uh, the vocabulary? <clears throat> Teacher, yes. which one? Wrong. I don't. Uh, I don't understand the the question, the answer, the short answer. No, mm -hmm. they haven't. Uh, okay. Really, huh? what I mean? No, they haven't. All right. Listen. Listen. This is it. Yeah, I heard that. Has the maintenance team replaced the batteries? ¿El equipo de mantenimiento ha reemplazado las baterías? No, no lo han hecho. Ah, ok. Ok, ok. All right. Eso significa no, they haven't. Mm. Ok. Eh, Maritza, creo que era la que me preguntaba algo. Plugged. Plugged. Plugged, conectado. Ya sea cargador mm. or something like that to the electricity. Plugged. Plugged. Yeah, plugged. Ya sea everywhere. Una, everywhere. Todo, en, en todos lados. Por todos lados. Wrong. Eh, erróneo. Problema. Mm, Problema, no. eh, perdón. Wrong, wrong es algo cuando algo va mal. Right? Como cuando hay un error o algo. Uh -huh. Incorrecto. Cuando algo no está bien. Correcto, exactly. When something is wrong, right? Cuando algo está incorrecto. Yeah. 
no es en sí un problema, teacher. Mm, digamos que si algo es, está mal, uh, if, if something is wrong, es porque hay un problema, right? Pero en realidad... Por ejemplo, alguien dice... Issue. Ajá. Do you have uh, a wrong? Algo así es una pregunta. Uh, no, no, ahí sería, ya se, ahí sería ya. No, sea, pero es que he escuchado. Eh, ya sería, ya sea issue eh, or Amilcar, problem. Amilcar, eh, maybe eh, listen the eh, what's wrong with you. Algo así. ¿Qué ah, pasa no, contigo? Pero es, ajá, pero ahí ajá. ya pero, estamos Pero hablando. el wrong allí, el wrong allí, ¿cómo se interpreta? What's wrong with you? Like, ¿Cuál es su problema? ¿Qué sucede? Algo así, pero da yeah. la idea de que hay algo, hay algo malo, ¿no? Exactly. Uh, similar with the look, what's wrong with the computer. Exactly. Similar. Like okay. what's, there, right? what's wrong. Mm -hmm. Hace referencia a que algo no está bien. Mm -hmm. Ok. Yes. ¿Y why, teacher? ¿Por Which qué? One? ¿Why? ¿Por qué? Why? Yes, with no. No, no. W, w, A, Y, look. Be the way, the by, the way, by, by the, the way, by the way, by the way, a propósito, por let cierto. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. ¿Dónde está la segunda? Abajo, 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 el último. Abajo. Ah, sí. by the way, the technician is coming. Ah, by, by the way, way, eh, W-A-Y, es la que usted dice. Ajá. Uh -huh. Way eh, es como manera, forma. Ajá. Uh -huh. For example, for example. I teach English in my own way. Enseño inglés a mi propia manera, forma. You see? Mm. Yeah. Y así ¿Y es. Esa es... es una expresión. By the way, significa por cierto. A o propósito. A yeah. Pero ya junto, ¿verdad? Exactly. Ya como una expresión. Uh -huh. A As propósito. Yes. Pero así solamente way es como manera, forma. Uh -huh. Like when, like when you do something. A propósito. Yes. Any other But, vocabulary? Y, y fix. Fix, arreglar, reparar. reparar. Mm -hmm. Yes. Solo es. Ah, okay. Very good. You know what is replaced? Reemplazar. Replace, ah, teacher, reemplazar. Teacher, reemplazar. Teacher, teacher, reemplazar. Teacher, reemplazar. Teacher, y cuando es y tú con dos o también. Por ejemplo, tú, no es por también ejemplo, solo tú. Por ejemplo, ah. a ver, la expresión me too, me too quiere decir yo también. Yes. Uh -huh. No lleva solo una o, es a me too. No. no. Ah, la, oh. Son dos. Una, okay. Para yo juraba que solo una llevaba. Oh. <ríe> son dos. Like me too. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, cuando le dicen Matías, hey Matías, nice to meet you, y usted le dice, nice me, to meet you me, too. Meet you too. Uh -huh. No le va a decir tú, solo como preposición, right? Uh -huh. Nice right. to meet you too. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, this is different, right? Van a quedar así como cuando quedan las personas que no hablan español y vienen al país y alguien les dice, hey, mire, alcanza y me he volado. Y es like, what? Sí. <laughs> nah, man, it's like, you're very special by putting names. A teacher, the attendant. Is the it pastor. 10? Cool, man. But before we, before we go, listen, listen, I just, I'm just going to give instructions, right? Listen. Well, tomorrow, at the beginning of the class, we're going to practice this short conversation. Espero que, pues, me puedan conectar todos, uh, as we are right now. Eh, vamos a practicar esta conversación al principio y vamos a desarrollar algunos ejercicios que están en el siguiente página, right? That's okay. what we have for tomorrow, the beginning of the class. And that's, pr that's pretty much what we are going to be doing. Yeah, because today was just explanation, explanation. And we didn't, we didn't like, like, you know, like, move on. Pero sí, la verdad, me, me, me interesaba también que pudiéramos comprender de, de mejor manera este tema. So, uh, before we go, no sé si tenemos alguna duda existencial todavía sobre este tema. In there, that surround your head. Before we go. 
van a ver todavía. Ma vamos a ver más de esto, ¿verdad? Not yet. Yes, yes. In the future you will see a lot of this. Ah. Ya, yeah, me. Que... Y les digo porque ya, o sea, si alguna preguntita, si saben, en la plataforma se van a ir a divertir. Miren, en la plataforma vamos a ir a llorar porque casi que en la plataforma <risa> lo que yo he visto son. Yes, man, más, yes. Más, más, que, más que todo lo que significa una palabra. Ah, likely, likely, like that. Así como el, el primer ejemplo example que hicimos de los números de. A small unimportant problem. Y era letter E de a minor fall. A minor fall. A minor fall. Mm -hmm. Así uh -huh. casi que todo lo que sale ahí en plataforma ahorita. Ajá, uh ajá. -huh, uh -huh. Ah, yeah. Okay. Uh, right after we finish class, I will send you the PDF with the verbs so you can check them. 40 páginas, casi son. Ah. Uh -huh. de verbos. 40 hojas, páginas son solo de ver. Ah, la que envió Hilmar. Sí. Jesus Christ, Hilmar. 40, 30, y quiero ver. Casi 40. 33 ah, más 5 son. ¿Ah? Nada más 43, right? It's like. Not that much, man. No tantas. No, 33, y de ahí en, en el otro PDF son 5. ¿A dónde lo ha mandado? En el, en, el, en el grupo de WhatsApp. ¿Una lista de verbos? Sí, yes, un, una yes. lista de un, pero un... Pero está chivo, lo imprimí y mira, ahí tenés tu amanza burro. <risa> ok. <risa> What is that, man? Ahí salieron los burros. <risa> What do you mean by that? Amanza burro. <risa> ok. Buena expresión. Es primera vez que... Callos. <risa> Villos, burros. Okay, that's weird. All right, people, I'm going to pass the attendance list. Give me a second. I'm going to stop sharing this. Uh, let me see. I guess we don't have any other questions, right? Okay, give me a second. Alfredo Alexander. Hey, Alfredo. Where is Alfredo? He left, I think. He was too busy that he left. Okay. Oh, give me a second. Ah, uh, Milcar Cañengues. Present. Okay. Good good good. <laughs> Carlos Gualberto. Y el goodbye. Hoy no tenés hoy, Milcar. Ah, es que hoy, te veo activo, hoy te veo activo, hoy te veo activo. Domingo Alexander. Hay que entrar tarde. Trece. Trece. Ok, man. Ah, ya, okay. man, es tú. Es tú. Ya, entró como, como una hora tarde. Yes. <risa> That's why, right, yes. Tiene que ponerse al día. Durmió primero. Qué <risa> vergüenza. <risa> 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 Present. No, es que le caló, le caló la regañada, vean. Le caló. <ríe> ok, Fatima. Jesus Christ. Helmar Cruz. Present. Ok, good. Jorge. Oh, no, Jonathan, no, Jonathan didn't show up today. Yeah, goodbye. Jorge Elvir. Uh, here and goodbye, guys. <ríe> ok. José Matías. I'm here. Good. See you tomorrow, man. teacher. See you tomorrow. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, really, really, really. All right. Okay. okay. See you guys. Okay, man. See, see, see you tomorrow, people. Amil Cartu. Right. Have a good night. <laughs> yeah, Carla Benazir. Hey, where is Carla? Okay. Ah, uh, Marie Salcira. I'm here, teacher. Ah, okay, good. Ah, uh, Marlon Alberto. Present. All right. No, just give me, give me, one, give me one second. Is it Carla here? Carla, Carla, Carla. Hey, se me fue y ahora le tocan los 10 minutos de feedback. No, pues se le fue, teacher. Y a mi Marco David. Is it Marco? 
Ay, a Marcos, you're gonna have that today, ok, porque le toca mañana a usted, pero lo va a tener ahora y Carla mañana. Pues. Right. Yeah, I mean, she got disconnected. Jesus. Right, right. All right. Uh, yeah, say Maritza Alcina, right? Okay. Uh, Marlon Alberto. Present. Okay, very good. Mauricio Alexander. Present. Okay, excellent. Romeo Alexis. Hey, what's up with Romeo? Romeo, are you there? Bien, yeah, Romeo, no, no se le escucha. Ah, ya, yeah, ahora sí. Good. Ah, Rosa del Carmen. Present. Ah, ok, very good. Vanessa Odette. Present. All right. William Eduardo. Ah, mi William is not there. Jasmine Melanie. Present. Ah, ok, very good. Jennifer Noemi. Present. All right, uh, Stephanie Lisset. Present. Okay, very good. And William Alberto. Present. Ah, okay, very good. All right, people, if you don't have any other questions to add, it was a pleasure to be here with you in this video conference, and let's see you tomorrow in a new one, okay? Bye-bye, people. Have a wonderful bye -bye. night. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow, everybody. Yes, yeah, see you. Bye. Portense bye, bien. Bye, bye. bye, bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Yeah. Good night. Bye, bye, everybody. Good night. Good night, Marlon. Hello, hello. Ah, he got his talk in there. <laughs> well take it out all right mister so we're gonna have the 10 minutes it's 10 or 8 we're gonna have 10 minutes just to clarify any question any doubt about this topic and the previous topic all right so i am all ears i feel that that the it's not allowed is uh, no, so so clear. It's not clear. Ah, not okay, so, so very clear. good. Not allowed. There you go. Mm -hmm. Let me see. The structure is called. It's not allowed. It's right. Not okay, allowed. it's not allowed is used to express. Or show prohibition. Right? Prohibition. Okay. For example, look. It's not allowed. Let me see. It's not allowed. Um, to be to be late at work. Ah, no está permitido llegar tarde al trabajo. You see, it's not allowed to be late at work. ¿Qué significa? Cuando mencionamos el it's not allowed como expresión con it, estamos hablando de reglas o prohibiciones de manera general que usted puede establecer ya sea para una empresa o para algún tipo de, de you know, like, like, de, de actividad. Sería como, sería como reglamento interno, digamos, de prohibiciones. Exacto, exacto. Pero para todo voy a utilizar, it's no it's not allowed. Cuando va y... a generalizar todo de una compañía, sí, it's not allowed es la mejor opción para poder generalizar todo. It's not allowed to. Yes, to. exacto. Example, it's not allowed to, to use okay, yes. uh, um, short uh, escote, como se diría? Huh? Shirt con escote. Okay, that's the, 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 the short shirt. I mean, short shirt. Okay. Uh, 
Los zapatos de tacón, no sé. That's high heel. Shoes high heel. No, high heels. Permítanme. <ríe> Esto, sí. Están enviando otras, otras listas. All right, that's, that's the same. Pero, eh, 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 por ejemplo, en, en, en este sería high heels. High heels. Um. Yeah, high heels. Not allowed to use high heels. Uh, let's put it work. Sí, entonces, estas son prohibiciones de, de manera generalizada para todos, un grupo de personas, por así decirlo. ¿Hay prohibiciones específicas? Claro que sí. Si yo le digo, Marcos, you are not allowed to speak Spanish in class. Let me see. You are not allowed to speak Spanish in the in class. All right, in that case, acá sí estamos siendo bien específicos. Sí. Pero eh, Lucio, aquí ya, ya no ponemos it, sino que... Exactly. Aquí ya y tenemos y otro, ya, exacto, ya tenemos un pronombre, ya tenemos el otro pronombre. Nombre sustituyendo it. Exacto. Porque it es para it todo. Es para todo. Verbo to be in is. Okay. Exacto. Entonces, it's it or, lleva la forma del yeah, verbo I'm to be as. Sorry. Ya, yeah. lo único que it vaya lleva el verbo to be is. Is. Mm -hmm. Ajá, acá pues dependiendo del, 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 del tipo de, 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 su, de subject, así va a ser. Ok. Acá mm -hmm. es like, you are not allowed to She's speak. not allowed. Them. They are not allowed. Ajá, exacto. Okay. Ahí es cuando queremos dar una prohibición a alguien de manera bien específica. Ok. Yeah. Uh, right. Any other question? Uh, only one. I uh -huh. reviews the net, the the team of yesterday. The 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 significado. Uh -huh. Um. Eh, aunque no sé si me adelanté porque revisé la estaba revisando la plataforma y estaba adelantando unas y hay una que no me la agarra para nada y son de de, che, de chequear de, de elegir una opción ah de veras yeah. creo ah, que sí ay, give, me, give me one second tarea 15 no más la 15 ya le digo cuál es. Ok. Yeah, in the Work, meantime, I'm going to load this. 14. Homework 14. Solo para que revisen la plataforma. De la número 2. Ok, you me say. Y creo que ya vimos, ya vimos parte de esto. Yeah, just give me one second. What? What did I do? Y solamente es como completar. Remember to uh, the power before you remove the machines. Re recuer recuerda que debes como se puede poner como turn off, apagar o switch off, apagar o break down, como quitar la energía o. That's turn on and turn off. Nada, nada, nada. Ninguno de los dos, cuatro, cinco. All right, vamos a ver. Eh, es la section three, ¿verdad? Section three. Homework. Troubleshooting. Ah, uh, la catorce. Fourteen. No, la anterior es. This one, right? Yeah, that. Number All two. Right. It says, instructions, read the prompt and choose the best phrase verb. Okay, let me see. La número dos dijo, ¿verdad? Sí, number two. 
Remember, 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 y luego dice, the power before you remove the machine. Remember to. to. Which one have you, have you, have you put in here? Uh -huh. Turn off. Because Turn off. The... off. Porque va a mover la máquina. Turn off. Turn on. Esa es la que es. Turn, on, turn on, off. Turn off. Porque clean up es como limpiar. Uh -huh. Limpiar. Size of. No recuerdo, pero las estuve traduciendo para, para comprenderlo. Uh -huh. no, le, no le va a dar porque tiene que llenar los demás, creo. Para poder desbloquear todo lo que es la página. Yeah, I mean, that's true. That's true. Permítame, vamos a hacer algo. This workshop is very dirty. Let's be, uh, uh, yes, clean up, clean up the place. The other, abajo. Y ya está seleccionada. Yeah, this uh, one. Want... I hope the computer won't. Um, size. Mm. Say off or non. Which which one do you put? Do you generally put when you're doing the exercise? Let me on my exercise. Turn off. Turn off. Turn off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Turn off it's the first. Call up. The first. Yeah. yeah. I mean that, the next I put. If you don't lubricate this type of machine. Regularly, they will size up. Como que se va a entrampar. Ah, ok. Se va a entrampar o atorar, algo así. Size uh -huh. up. The okay. number five, the printer just stopped working. We need to call up a technic technician. Call up. Ah, ok, very good. So this is the one, right? Okay, good. Let's send it. Okay. Yeah. This one is okay. This one is okay. This one is okay. Which one is the one that is missing? Look, this one is okay. This, this one is the problem, number two. Yeah. Remember to turn off the power before you remove the machine. I think it's this one. It's off. No, I think it, it, it remains. If you put breakdown. Pero breakdown es averiarse. No, pero breakdown. Breakdown es como bajar los dados también. Break. Porque los breakers son, los break son los de las um, tableros eléctricos. Ah, ok. Son breakdown, bajar la energía, cortar la energía. Mm -hmm. también, es, también significa eso. Break. Ah, ok. Bueno, well, let's see. Let's see. All right. Let's see. No. Ok. What are we going to do? Easy, easy, easy. Switch off, turn off, and break, the, break down. Is, ya lo probó. Solo queda clean up and size off. Pero ni ninguno de los dos, ni por molestar. Try now. Let me see. Seis, no, seis, ya la probamos. I think sí. this one is, it's, it's, we, we, we turn the test it here. Sí, ya la probamos. Yeah. Let me see, size off, turn off. Turn off, size off, switch right. off. I think off. switch off. In a second, it's in there. How oh, what? Size off. Size off is the único que, no, clean up is the único. Clean up, actually. All right, in a second. No, you remain the same. Okay, all right, give me a second. Clean up, turn up, size up, switch off. Mm. 
Yo vi una, una flechita ahí. Breakdown. Dale breakdown. Aparece hacia arriba. No, aparece la X. Parece que switch off. Porque vi un chequecito hace un momento ahí. No sé. Aunque no aparece la puntuación, pero vi un chequecito ahí. Let me see, let me see, let me see. So no. now say so clean up. No, clean up is one. No, es el de arriba. Ah? Se equivocó, es el de arriba. Yeah, I mean, this, this is the one. Sí, ahí acaba de mover el... el. But no, let me see. El de arriba era... El, en, en la 3 era... Era turn, turn off. Turn, turn off, yeah. But this one, this one, this one doesn't have the. Y clean up la tenemos. No, permítame, permítame. Hmm, this is weird. Ah, pues no, fíjese que aquí hay un error de plataforma. Ninguna de las de las de las que están acá le van a le va a tomar como buena. Como bueno. Uh -huh. Ahí eso es lo que, lo que pasa ahí. Entonces en este caso simplemente hay que dejarla. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, porque en vez de 2, 4, 5, está turn off, size off, clean up, uh -huh. switch off, uh -huh. está breakdown en vez de, en vez de, bueno, pero en las demás está breakdown también. Yes, yes. En la última dice call up. Uh, remember to, en este caso, switch off the power before you remove. En este caso sería este. Man. Tendría Una, que switch uh -huh. off o switch off. turn off. Turn off, switch off. Uh -huh. En un dado caso extremo, break, break down. Aunque uh -huh. break down aparece okay, como, es como averiarse. Averiado ya. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yes. Ya, yeah, entonces simplemente se hay que dejar eso. No problem, right? Y habría que reportar Solo en la 1 y la 2 aparece breakdown. Uh -huh. Y en la demás que aparece call up en, en sustitución de, de breakdown. Ajá, uh -huh. that's correct. That's right, that's right. Y yeah, entonces simplemente se hay que hacer en, ese, en, ese, en, esa, en esa área. Okay. Ya, yeah, me da que aplique, porque ya la promo todo y, ni, y ninguna es. Sí, no, solo es como para ahí. Ajá, ya. Ya, a mí me le da mistake there. Um, how you look my English? No, I mean, it's, it's improving. It's improving. It's improving. What you need is just to practice a little bit more, because in that way, you will gain fluency and you will speak, you know, like faster and you will, you know, join ideas and everything. Very good. That's yeah. what you need. That's what you really need because you got a very good English. You understand yeah. most of uh, uh, the things that I say and that one is, is good. It's really good. Yeah, I, when, when, Study on bachelor. Uh -huh. um, I mean, you, on high school uh, or the oh, bachelor yeah. at the university? No, bachelor. I technical former. Ah, okay, <laughs> okay. I I don't don't I, I didn't? Pass, don't advance uh, the verb to be with the teacher. <laughs> And all the bird to be bird ah, to be and that is boring. Yeah, and only good that that she give me mm -hmm. was listen music. Ah uh, listen music the music improve improvisa. Improve is like mejora. Uh -huh. improve, yeah. And Listen, chiquitita. Uh, listen, 
that's in the that's in the wind. Uh huh. Like music, for example, from these bands like Guns N' Roses, Aerosmith. Guns N' Roses, Aerosmith. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, I mean El uh, Elton John, uh, Brian Adams. They yeah, have yeah. a English uh, soul cleaner. Ah, good. Yeah, and only hear the music. Mm -hmm. Hearing the music is how I, como que extraigo o entiendo alguno. Ajá, ajá. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's why it's really important to practice by listening uh, into songs and watching TV in English, of course, watching movies, watching series in English. In that way, you will improve very fast. Okay. Yeah, I mean, that's what you need. Okay. Thanks. Yeah, All right, Marco. I don't know if you have any other question, Marco. No, it's all, it's all okay. Um, so good. Everything. Ah, Thanks okay. for everything. Um, I need to learn, and I am the place correctly. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, I hope that. I hope that. And you know, like, like we, we, if you had the chance, let's participate as much as you can in the class. That will help you a lot. Okay. Only for my head headache. Ah, yeah. I mean, sometimes it's because of your headache. You, you, you cannot do it. Yeah, but if you would yes. like you yesterday take my RX uh -huh. and all is okay. Ah, uh, okay. All is okay. okay. Um I don't know. I maybe have to take me a tech cerebral, tech brain. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No something more. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. But all is okay. For this moment, um, gotta go to pasar al a list. <laughs> to spend time on the list in in, in the AEs. Ah, man, this is like horrible. That's horrible. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm here, and our day it's okay, and they are small sick or bit sick, but I'm here. Yeah, I mean that's a good thing. Okay. Thank you for right. everything and um, like the, like the classes. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. You're going to be improving that way. You will see. You will see, man. All right. Okay, Marco. So, so Marco, it was a pleasure to 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 hear your you know like all right misunderstanding things that you got and uh, all right. Let's see you tomorrow. All right. All right. In another video conference, okay? All right. All right, Marco. Have a wonderful bye -bye. night, okay? Bye-bye.